Hello everyone and welcome. I hope everyone is doing well. I want to quickly say that this is the first video I am recording since reaching a thousand subscribers and I want to thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it so so much. Today we are going to be looking at the new Snowy Sleepover Owl Compact. This one is at Walmart both online and in store. The first thing I notice is that they are using less plastic in their packaging which is much appreciated. Now this set is very similar to another owl set that came out a couple of years ago back when Polly had rubber legs. I don't have that set so I'm excited to have this one. So here is our beautiful little owl. I love the colors of this owl. This blue and pink is a pretty much my favorite color combination. Purple and yellow eyes. It looks a little crazy but I love it. We have a bright yellow beak, some white stars here on the feathers, and again that bright pink on the wings. We have a couple of little hearts here on the butt of the owl just for stability when you're playing with the set. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that on the Polly Pocket Compacts before. We also have a cute little tail. And bonus, the feet and the tail of the owl make this set stand up very well. And you of course get a purple wrist cord which can easily be taken off just like this and I will be keeping mine off for now. So here's the set. Again, if you know the other owl set, you will see quite a few similarities. It's pretty much the exact same layout with just some color changes and the features are a little different. Starting at the top, the first thing I notice is that super shiny, glossy background. I love that they are doing that now. It is just so shiny and pretty. I hope they continue doing this because it's so much better than the plain cardboard that they were putting in these compacts. And speaking of background, look at that. We have the northern lights and some snowflakes. We see a little owl over here, a snowman. We also have this swinging moon and star here at the top right. Here we have some snowy trees. It actually opens up here. And if we open it up, we can see a mommy bird feeding her babies in a nest. Here we have a camper. I really do like the colors. We have some snowflakes on the windows, a wreath on the door, very pretty purples and pinks. On top of the camper we see some what looks like luggage or a cooler and sleeping bags maybe. We open up the camper and we have a bathroom. Now I've always thought these toilets were the funniest looking toilets in Polly Pocket. The only toilets I want to see in Polly Pocket are the ones with the lids that actually open and close. Those are perfect. But nevertheless, we have a white toilet with a heart on the back and some toilet paper here. Behind the toilet here, it looks like we have a picture of a moose, maybe? I think so. It's very dark, hard to see. We have a mirror here and a sink and some cabinets underneath. Of course, the wheel of our camper is getting in the way just a little bit. And here on the flipped down door, we have a white tub and on the floor, we have a rug. I really don't like flip down features like this because they just get in the way. But but we'll move on. So down here we have a couple of purple steps leading down to the bottom part of our compact. Here on the left we have an igloo with a little slide and purple paw prints leading down to the ground, which is of course snow covered. We see some skis, some paw prints, some ice skates, just one little peg here. Here in the middle of the snowy ground we have a fire going. We have a couple of chairs here made out of logs and what looks like a stump here that is used as a side table. And to the right we have a pink tent which opens up. We see a purple sleeping bag with a little teddy bear and a book and a dark purple pillow. I do like that all of these are in place. They're not things that you have to take out and put in and find a spot for. I hated when all of like the couches and the beds, I hate when it's all separate. I prefer it all to just be in place so you don't lose it and you don't have to find a spot to put it. Moving along, we have a deck here. We have two pigs. We see a bucket, a fishing pole, and then a fish just laying here on the deck. How sad. And we have a big blue water area, the lake or the ocean. If we look very carefully, we can see some snowflakes on the surface and we also have two pegs. If we look even more closely, we can see what appears to be a hair or something trapped underneath. Do you see that? That's kind of weird. Oh well. 
Now for accessories for this set, since it does have a lot of water features, we get another little pitcher like we have with the most recent set we looked at. This one is yellow. This is really sturdy. I think this is probably the most high quality part of this whole set. Honestly, by the end of it, I feel like I'm going to have way too many of these pitchers. It's not even really that necessary to have a pitcher, like you can fill up the water area without one, but here it is. We also get this silver telescope on a purple base. This is one of the pieces that I'm getting really, really tired of. My most hated accessory for Polly Pocket has to be the grill, but I think this is coming in at a close second. I am sick of it. It's kind of big and it just gets in the way and it's hard to find a spot for it in the set and I'm just tired of it. We also get a purple snowboard, some marshmallows on a stick. I'm also getting sick of this accessory. We also get this, is this called a snowmobile? I think, I hope. It is pink and it looks like it is on ice, I guess, or snow. It's blue, it should be ice, right, if it's blue, but I think it goes on snow it's a snowmobile. I'm a little disappointed in this piece actually because if you look very closely the base of this looks like that very translucent pretty blue much like this translucent pretty blue but then on here it's more of a frosted blue. I don't like this frosted blue nearly as much as the pretty translucent blue so yeah I'm a little disappointed but other than that it's a pretty cool piece. We also get this tiny little blue teddy for one of the girls to cuddle up to while they sleep. We get this pink little fish, we've seen him a hundred times. We also of course get a blue and white narwhal. Since it's an owl set, we have to have an owl. Here is our little purple owl with yellow eyes. And here we have two very special characters. Nothing we haven't seen before, a purple penguin and a purple bear. But what's special about this penguin and this bear is that they are color changing. You can already kind of see the penguin changing just by the heat of my hands. I think I kind of greased this guy up with my lotion. I think I put on too much lotion. So now to test out the color changing feature, they obviously start out purple, but when you put them in hot water, they turn to this very light, pretty pink. It's actually a pretty drastic change. I think I like the pink more than the purple. And when you put them back in cold water, the pink one goes back to purple really fast, but the bear takes a while. But the pink one kind of has this cool marbly effect. I like that. And here are our two dolls, Polly in a pink shirt with a polar bear on it and trees and blue pants. And this young lady with pink hair, a purple shirt with a snowman and purple pants. Now I left what I think is the best for last, this adorable little snowman. I love him so much. And unlike all of the other pieces, I don't think we have ever seen him before. Now correct me if I'm wrong, I don't have every Polly Pocket set or accessory that there is to have. Have, but I have never seen this specific snowman before in my life. So I'm pretty excited to finally have a new Polly Pocket accessory. And isn't he adorable? He has purple eyes, nose, mouth, and a purple scarf. The only weird thing about him is that they didn't paint the back of his scarf. They only painted the front. I guess they just thought nobody would ever see the back of him. So who cares? Well, I care. They should have painted the back of him. That was a massive oversight on their part. The only unfortunate thing about this little snowman is really where can you put him? I mean, you're not going to build a snowman on the deck, are you? That's kind of weird. You're not going to put him in the water. That's super strange. And there's only one peg on this whole snowy ground, and it just so happens to be right next to the fire. Who builds a snowman right next to the fire? He ain't going to last long. There you go guys the snowy sleepover owl compact i hope you all enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for being here i hope you are having a wonderful day and i hope to see you in the next video bye